What up people, Rev the Legend here and welcome to year one of Modern Mania Wrestling. Let's go, we have made our draft, so we have only got certain superstars that we're going to use. We are obviously going to open up with the Battle Royal, 100% we're going to select that. And first off we're going to look for a contender for the TV title. So who do I really want to be, I mean, I don't really want anyone in the upper mid, I don't think, competing for the TV title. Richie, Richie is an upper mid isn't he? Or or is he mid card? So none of these guys we're gonna touch for the TV title. So we'll leave them only up there. Oh, Aspen Northstar. Hmm. I'm tempted to go Aspen here. Yeah, do you know what we are? We're gonna go Aspen. Aspen, you're in. Where's my man? There he is. Aspen, you are in. 100%. So Richie versus Aspen, our first ever TV title match. Aspen, obviously, a, a generational wrestler from the 80s Mania game, so we're going to do that. How many openers do we have? So we've got the we've got this room. The good thing about this is you can use the ladies for the openers as well. We are going to open with a we will open with a ladies match actually. We're going to go with Chris List, Eliza Bratt, Kez. I think we go Siberia and Warhawk. I quite like that. Oh, rivalry bonus. Let's go. Uh, do we have a feud between the two? We do not. So we're just going to put a sponsor on there. Looks good. I like that. Uh, we have a ladies match. We can go with any level. So let's have a look at our upper mids. We've got Carolina and Katana. Is that a match I want to give away this early? Probably not. We'll give Carolina. Let's get her involved. And Libra. Libra. I think that's that's a match. That's a match. Let's go. So we're gonna go there. Mid carders only. Let's see how many mid carders we've come up with. Uh, we're gonna go with men only. So we've got Fang bayonets. I definitely want to get Chester involved. We got some big names in the mid card actually. Some very big names. All right, I want to get Reviver involved. He's definitely going to be one of my TV title challengers. Um, we're going to go. We're going to go with Chester. So I like that. This is a banging start. And then a one on one. Um, let's look at our main. Let's look at our main guys. I don't want to give away anything too big, and I also risk now someone lower tiered getting over on one of these main star guys. But let's see what we can do. We're going to go Ice Pick Domino versus Mac Caliber. Mac needs to win, really. Um, and that's that. Are we going to change venue? How much choice do we have? So. 2,000 capacity, 500, 2,000, 6,000. All right, let's go with Boston Arena then, see if we can fill it out. And there we go. Not, not too fast, two wins there. Okay, so we're gonna go with Warhawk, that's fine. Two and a half stars. Alright, we need Mac to win. He is going to be one of our main guys. We don't need him losing here. Good, good. Right, nice strong win there for Mac. Beats a solid mid carder, that's what we need to see. Here, Reviver, Chester. I really like this Reviver character. I really like Reviver, so... Ooh, Chess! He's like, mm-mm! Ain't happening! Okay, alright. Chester Bloodmind. This one, we have two big bangers. This is a huge match to give away, actually. This is a huge match. Back and forth, and Carolina Strutter has got it. Strutter's gonna be a, a big part of this women's division, so I'm quite happy with that. Here, do you know, I don't mind the title retention, to be honest. I do like North Star, but I, I, I don't mind. I do like it when our champions build a little bit, 
go on a bit of a run. It makes the title changes a bit more significant. So that there is the end of week one. So week three, we need to get on. The cruiserweight title. We don't really have any contenders. I suppose we could put Chester in there. He did just win. All right, Chester goes in. I think that's fair. Uh, we will book that one. Uh, men's or ladies or mixed. I think we're going to go with a men's because there's a ladies one there. So if we go with uh, tag teams, who do we want to get involved in something here? People we've actually got. I don't mind that. I'd rather keep them both as singles though. Is that a team? Alright, we'll try them out. We'll try them out. And then we're going to put them up against another tag team. What do we have here? What do we have? Ooh, I do like that, but I want to keep them both for the world title picture. Let's not get them involved in tag team issues. Ooh, the specialists. The specialists. Yep, that'll do. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, ladies tag match. Let's have a look, see what tag teams we've got. Sisterhood, Sky Diamonds, Aesthetics, and Ladybugs. Ladybugs, 100%. Because of the insectoids, we're going to have to put And we'll go Sisterhood. We'll go Sisterhood. Hell of a lineup. Mike Spot, Skits. One on one match. Again, I think we're going to bring one of our um, one of our big stars down. See if they can pick off a mid carder. Just get a bit of mileage underneath them. Um, I don't want to feed Manga. We'll go with Greg Quebec. Let's try that. All right, we'll try that. We just need a mic spot, so we're just going to go with. Uh, we can go Ghoulie on the mic. Let's see what Ghoulies we got. So we've got 16 on the mic, 8 on the mic, 10, 7, Silver God might be the shout. And I will have Slash Master. Slash Master is one of the only ones still from the 80s Mania. Might be the only one in my roster actually, we'll have to see. And then for the skits, what kind of skits have we got here? Candy Shop, Dramatic Promo, Total Bedlam. We're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with dramatic promo, and we need a loner, a patriot, or a flyer. So let's see what we've got here. Who's our loners? Loner, patriot, or flyer? Oh, we've got a fair few. We might go reaver. Reaver. Yeah, let's give him time to talk. All right, so that's what we got. Looks good. Let's start the show. All right, we really need Domingo to win here. We don't want our big stars losing. That's good. There we go. So Domingo and Mac have both won, which is good. Because when world title picture rolls around, we're going to need someone involved. All right, Ladybug, Sisterhood. The Insectoids haven't been that successful in my 80s Mania run so far. Let's see if the Ancestors can do a bit better. This match is going long. Sisterhood with the win. I feel like the Ladybugs, you know, put in a good performance there. Two and a half. Two and a half stars. Here goes Reaver. Three star segment. We'll take it. We'll take it. This is like a reboot, so it's fine. Uh, Apex. The Jin. The Morbid. Wade. These are, some, these are some good looking teams, to be fair. I think Morbid and Apex, surely. They've done it. They've done it. Tag team division already looking good. Uh, two and a half stars. Slash Master are going to talk that talk. Ooh, mixed. Type bonus. Two stars? I know Slash is not really a big speaker. Here we go. Chester Blood. After a great match on week one, he's, he's done it. He's won the title. Chester is the Cruiserweight Champion. Let's hope he can hold it for a while and run with it. Domingo with the win. Sisterhood beating Ladybugs. Good match. 
Uh, we've got Apex and Morbid did well. Not bad. Very, very happy with it. Let's go to week three. Welcome to another episode right. Of now we're going to start getting some Dominic contenders here. Right. Tag team. So, if we go to contenders, has to be Morbid and Apex. And then we need to look at another tag team. Oh, I don't really want to use... I don't want to use anyone who's in the main event, so I'm not going to go with Samoa's Specialist Total Harmony. Let's go with Harmony. Give them a shot. Uh, ladies or men's or mixed. Uh, didn't see a need to go mixed just yet. Here, we're going to put some of our big dogs in here now. Let's see if we can... Uh, See if we can cut out a few people. So Yoshimiro, upper mid. Domingo's had a match. Let's put Decker in there. We want a couple of people to start standing out from the pack for a little bit. And do you know what? I think we can go NU. So we're going to book that. One on one match. Uh, let's see what blood feuds we actually have available. Broken Brotherhood, we don't want to use just yet. Um, I wouldn't mind that. Gunslinger and Grifter. Legacy of Horrors. Ooh, let's go. Oh, we've got some decent feuds there. Well, I think we're going to go with... Dead Men Walk In. I quite like that. We're going to put that feud there. These guys are looking good. Mike Spot. Uh, interview with Rod Codger. Let's go. So, we can have the champ on there. Let's have uh, another... Yeah, let's get let's get Strutter on there. And then we go for the skits. Um, pep talk. Two wrestlers. Right, let's see what big mouths we got. Onyx. I think we could do. We could do Onyx and Nora. I think that's a good. Uh, that's a good way to start. Onyx, Onyx, Onyx. Big mouth. I like that. The aesthetics. Yeah. Let's go. Right. I like it. I like it a lot. Apex and Morbid versus Total Harmony. See, I could use Morbid and, and Apex more so in the mid card, so I wouldn't be mad at a Harmony win here, but. Well, he's done him. I was going to say two wins in a row would, would merit a title match more, but we'll go for that. Three star match as well. Very nice. Here we go. Probably the two biggest stars of our respective divisions at the minute. Let's give them a bit of mic time. Three star segment. Not too bad. Here we're going to go Grifter. I, I'm not too fussed who wins here to be honest. Let's just see who, who steps up. Wow, oh, Grifter's took the slinger out. Okay. Three and a half! Three and a half stars! And there we go, the aesthetics. Doing their thing. Two and a half. I'll take it. And here we go. A couple of our biggest stars. Let's see who wants to rise to the cream of the crop. I think NU's going to be the one. Yoshimiro, do something, brother. He listened! <laughs> Yoshimiro did it! Nice. Right, I think, personally, Yoshimiro has to be the uh, the number 30 entrant in the Battle Royal, if you know what I'm saying. Alright, so this here is the winner of the Battle Royal. Absolutely. Uh, tag Team Title Match. Overnights versus Total Harmony. Let's give him a little bit of flavour. 
I like that a lot. Ladies title match. Mother Mercy. Uh, I think... I think it has to be Strutter. On this occasion. It has to be Strutter. That's a big match. TV title... Uh, let's fill the battle roll first and see who's left. And then leaves Mike's spot in the skit. Let's get the... Um, let's use the skits for the ladies, I think. So we are going to go for a uh, female... Big Mouth. Who do we have? Audrey. Cotton. Pink Champagne. Yeah, you, you can get involved. That's fine. For the mic spot. What do we want to go with? Uh, interview with Cutie Pie. Loner on the mic. Let's, let's see what female loners we have. Ladies. Loner. Celeste, Paradise, Sweet Jane. Yeah, we'll go Sweet Jane. Right, so we're going to fill the Battle Royal first. Then work out who's going to contend for the TV title. Because I don't think anyone stands out. These are all guys who are going to be... No, so we're not going to do that. Right, let's fill this Battle Royal. So all we know is the final entry is going to be Yoshimiro. So we're going to go upper mid. Where's Yoshi right at the end? Yoshi's in. Um, I think Domingo. And I think Mac, because they both did well. So we're going to give them. We're going to give them a little bit better slots. Um, right, let's just start picking some random ones. We're going to go fill all our upper mids first. Flint Decker can go there. Gridiron, you're in. Slinger. I think we're going to have to give Grifter a decent spot as well, I think. Grifter, you're in. Upper mid. And you, you're there. Let's do it this way. Reaver, you're in. Uh, we're going to go to mid Carter for this slot. It's not North Star, you're in. Who's going to open up with Slinger? Let's go up a mid. Slashmaster, Son of Samoa. Swish, you are there. Um, here, I'm going to go with the, the two remaining upper mids. We're going to go Slashmaster and we're going to go Son of Samoa. Two of my favourites, to be fair. Uh, mid card. Uh, Morbid's done okay. Apex has done okay. Oh, no, let's go Reviver in that slot. Hells yes. Here, we're going to go mid card. Amari Fang, I've not done nothing with yet. We'll go Apex there. I think here we'll go with Morbid. Looks good. Let's fill up these few slots here. Uh, mid cards. Uh, bayonets. Mid cards. Manga. Old school. Mid cards. Uh, I want Jin. I definitely want Evermore in there. Who is this going to leave for the uh, for the TV title though? I'd like to get Marvello in there. Maybe maybe he gets the TV title match. Marvello Vell. Yeah, I like that. 20 person thing. Marvello Vell and Richie B. Sweet Jane and Pink Champagne both get their little skit spots. And then we get the world title match. Do we have a flavor we can put in there? No, maybe we have sponsors anyway. Right, I'm very happy with that. Let's see what we can do here. Who's the biggest? 6,000, 1,000. Is that it? That's our only pay-per-view ones? Boston it is then. Let's go, our first pay-per-view. 
Battle Royale. Like I said, I got a bit of a soft spot for both Son of Samoa and Slash Master, so we'd be quite like either one of them to pick up the win. But honestly, unpredictability is, is the name of the game here. Morbid and Apex have both done okay in the mid card. Evermore, I mean, this is most of their first appearances. It was taking time to get the first one out. Oh, Gridiron's out. More bits gone. Evermore, that was quick. That was quick. Oh god, your Grifter's in. They're starting to drop. Slinger's out, and here comes the Slash. Decker's out. We've got Slash and Samoa in the match. Just stay in there. Hang on to the ropes. Apex is gone. Caliber's in. Grifter's gone. Revival, Reviver is in. Bayonet's out. Domingo's in. Ooh, Enu's out. Aspen Northstar is the underdog of this bunch. These are some. These are some big old bangers there. Yoshimiro is now in. One of these guys is going to be the first challenger for the world title. Ooh, Slash is out. Slash is out. Domingo's gone. Wow! No way North Star stays in. Reviver's out. Samoa's out. Caliber's gone. Oh my god, Yoshimiro. Revi what? Reaver's done it. Okay, Reaver, our first world title challenger. Richie Billions. Marvello Vell. Probably would prefer a Richie retain here. Yeah. Let's let's, uh, let's get a few defenses under the belt under the uh, under the belt first. Sweet Jane, Jane, out here talking some talk. Let's get a few of our ladies to kind of jump ahead of the rest, stake their claim. Here we go, Mother Mercy, Carolina Strutter. There's a lot of history here with Strutter. Strutter's done it. She's done it. She is threatened to have taken over and she has done it. Here we go in the candy shop. Pink champagne. Not with it. Right, Total Harmony. Massive gains. Such a great name. Come on, gains. Do your thing. Tag team division is stacked. We have, we have a very strong tag team division here. I'd like to see the Overnights keep hold of it though. Again, I, I want to see a few defenses. It's not going to happen. Total Harmony are two and two. They're two for two. Huge win. Three stars. And here we go, the big title match. This is our first time seeing Alexi against the winner of the Battle Royal. And new! We have a new world champion, three star match, winner of the battle royale. I came in early as well. Came in early as well. Huge win. Richie, very good start to his TV title run. Carolina Strutter did the thing we were expecting her to do. And there we go, people. That is a good first month, I would say. Thank you very much for watching. See you next month. Brevin the Legend and peace.